in this uh, video we will see mechanism of antibiotic resistance it means uh, the bacteria will try to survive even in the presence of antibiotics antibiotic is not able to destroy your bacteria so how exactly your bacteria is uh, uh, avoiding or resisting this degradation by the antibiotics okay some few common mechanisms we will see in this video the first one would be there is altered membrane permeability otherwise reduced membrane permeability meaning see here this red color represents a antibiotic here this green color represents a bacteria so now bacteria the antibiotic is trying to enter into the bacteria now the membrane wall has become very thick i have just for representation purpose i have just limited the uh, thickening of the cell wall to only this area but remember all around the bacteria the cell wall will get thickened or the cell membrane will be thickened so now what happens is it will modify it, its outer membrane actually the bacteria has modified its outer membrane so the antibiotic is not able to enter into the cell the second mechanism if you see there is a efflux pump activation meaning now bacteria has gone to the next step even though the sometime antibiotic has entered now what is your bacteria doing it is actively pumping out the antibiotics into the uh, exterior of the cell so here this sometimes can happen to uh, like these are sometimes no multi-drug uh, uh, pumps actually it means like one pump itself can pump out two or three different kinds of antibiotics okay now moving on to the third mechanism here if you see third one enzymatic degradation or modification happens now this red color one just imagine this is a penicillin drug okay now penicillin has a basic structure of beta lactam ring now bacteria has started producing beta lactamase which will break down your beta lactam ring of penicillin so the penicillin becomes ineffective here similarly aminoglycoside modifying enzymes are also uh, can sometimes be produced by the bacteria which will break down your aminoglycosides the next mechanism if you see the fourth one uh, what has happened is uh, there are some proteins will be produced i hope you are able to see this yellow color the other proteins the bacteria starts producing some proteins that will go and bind with the antibiotics and now this protein and antibiotic combination will not be able to bind to the target site sometimes clear or in some some uh, bacteria what they have seen is in, see normally this penicillin goes and binds to what is called pbp penicillin binding protein this is the target site okay it's called as pbp2 this is the target site for the penicillin to go and bind now what has happened here is instead of uh, uh, pb2 there is a new protein which is produced which is an altered protein that is why we call it as pbp 2a normally your pbp2 was the one which was producing the cell wall penicillin was inhibiting that so now what is your bacteria done it has started producing pbp2a that will go and produce your cell wall 